Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Well, glory to God. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Friday edition of Morning Prayer. It is February 5th, and we are excited to come together in agreement with you. I have myself, Holden, and I have Mr. Dell here with us. How are you, sir? Good morning. Good morning. I'm blessed. Amen. We we just got done praying for the partners, and I've still got tears in my (laughs) eyes. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Hey, listen, (laughs) we are here for you. Amen. We're here for you. And take advantage of the fact we want to come together. And I was just thinking about this verse and 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. It says, fight the good fight of faith and lay hold of eternal life. And together we want to lay hold of what God has made available to you. So call that number 877-281-6297. We already have prayer requests coming in. So I want to jump right into it and I want to lay hold together. Listen, you know, we say this often. This is the biggest corporate prayer morning in that's the exactly prayer right. time in the morning because it's not just you guys it's not just us it's that's our right. prayer ministers and we are excited to come into agreement with you so call that number thank you 877-281-6297 here's gregory from belton believe in god for a church building well father right now i thank you so much that a soldier does not go to war on his own account that's right I thank you so much that you have called him and you have given him the, the, the means necessary to build this church building in the name of Jesus. Here's Linda from Fort Gibson, who wants to sell business now. Father, I thank you for Linda. I thank you that you are causing that business to sell right now as we pray. Father, I thank you that you are bringing about the people that will give her the right, the, the right figure for this business in Jesus' name. Here's Carl from Marietta. Believe in God for finances, for favor on job and healing in body. Listen, the Bible says that favor surrounds us as with a shield. Yes. And I'm telling you, when that favor surrounds you as with the shield, you're a success going somewhere to succeed. You're a blessing going somewhere to bless. And a part of that blessing is finances and healing. Praise God. So we're in agreement with you right now in the name of Jesus, Carl, that you are blessed beyond measure in Jesus name. Dale. That's right. So earlier this morning when we came in, we always come in and we, we're teachers. Mm-hmm. So we're teaching each other. We're sharing the word with each, with each other. And last night in prayer, because we knew we were going to be on this broadcast, I know that I have to have faith. In order to get faith, you need a word. So Father, what's my word? So he gave me this word for you and for me mm-hmm. and for you. Amen. And everyone that's listening this morning, here's your word. It's in John three seventeen. for God sent S-E-N-T, that's the word that the Lord's using this morning in faith. Faith is on this word sent. That's already been done. He sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Salvation has been sent. So we can define salvation this way. Yes, eternal life. Yes, everlasting life. But also health is in that word salvation, healing, prosperity and recovery is in that word. So Helen, this has been already been sent. That's a past tense word, is it not? Amen. It's been done. I like to think about Amazon. When I order something, I totally believe it's been sent. So you're going to go to open your front door today and receive (laughs) what's been sent. So Helen, your daughter's healing has been sent. Leslie, your sister-in-law, Lord, we thank you for her sister-in-law, Lord, with leukemia, that that healing has been sent. In fact, Holden, it was sent 2,000 years ago. That's exactly right. It's been on the front porch Absolutely. for 2,000 years and it's still as good. All we got to gotta th- do is open the door. Open the door and we receive Praise it. God. You know, Revelation 3 even talks about how Jesus is standing at the door and knocking. <laughs> All we got to do is open the door and there's healing face to face. Open the door and there's prosperity face to face. Open the door and there's freedom face to face. So today we come into agreement and we open that door together and we believe that we yes. receive the we healing take it. power of God. We take it. Praise God. So we've got Wanda, favor for the weather and no power allergies. Lord, Lord, we thank you. We send the word Amen. for good weather. You, you sent the word and that's our example. We send this word for good, for favorable, favorable weather. And then we got Colleen believing for favor. That favor is sent 
it's on you, it's in you, and it surrounds you. Amen. Right, Holden? Amen. Uh, Vivian, God. favor and protection for her son. It looks like his name is uh, Israel graduating from college. Everything that uh, your son needs, Israel, everything you need has been sent. And I thank you that your mother has the faith and she's instilled it in you to walk to, on that thing that's been sent to you. It's done. Amen. It's all done. Praise God. That's Thank exciting. You, Lord. It is done. You know, First Peter 2.24 says, By his stripes you were. Word. Heal. Word. Praise God. That is a past tense word. So we're in agreement and with God's completed work. So here's Fran from Cranesville. Believe in God to touch son's heart and to call and to come home. Bless God. Malachi chapter four talks about how God is restoring the hearts of the sons to the father and the daughters to the mother. We are believing for total and complete restoration in your son and that God is touching his heart and that the Holy Spirit is chasing him down. Bless God. The Holy Spirit is persistent and we're believing God for laborers to come across this path because it's God's will for all men to be saved. And, uh, amen, friend. So I want to hear the testimony about that. And speaking of testimonies, you can call the same number, 877-281-6297, uh, that you call for your prayer request. And you can call in and share your testimonies. Because what happens when you share a testimony? Bless God, it stirs faith up. Because we know that God is absolutely no respecter of persons. So when, you, when somebody finds out that God healed their brother and sister in Christ, yes, Lord. bless God, Thank then you, he'll Lord. do it for you because he's no respecter of person. Bless God. Here's Brenda from Sioux Falk, believe in God to pray for healing and stomach. Maybe it may be food poisoning. Well, Father, right now, Brenda, I just encourage you, lay your hands on your stomach. So Father, right now, I lay my hands on my stomach as a point of contact for Brenda. In Jesus' name, I thank you and that that food poisoning is absolutely being flushed out right now. And whatever it may yeah. be, I thank you that the healing power of God is invading my sister Brenda's life right now in the name of Jesus. Thank Brenda, you. I want to hear the testimony of that yes. because it is and being the, flushed out right it, now. That's it, that's it. It is being flushed that's out. That's it, thank Doris you Doris from Minnesota, believe in God for healing for knee uh, and leg. Doris, we're in agreement that that healing has been sent and that it is a past tense and God is bringing it thank into completion Lord. in your life. Praise the Lord. Here's Abigail from Troy, needs healing in her circulation. Well, Father, I lift up Abigail's circulation. And Lord, according to Psalms 107, we send forth the word and yes. it heals That's right. her. Yeah. Bless God. We're in agreement with that. Betty from Carlton, believe in God for healing from high blood pressure and she has a doctor's appointment. Well, right now we are in agreement that that doctor's report is going to match the report of the Lord. Praise God. And we're believing for that right now in the name of Jesus. Call that number 877-281-6297. Seven. Praise the Lord. So, um, hold him. We got this praise report from Bill. He praise said, God. Uh, he called in last week, be prayed over, and he went and had surgery over his eyes. Uh huh. And guess what? Wow. He's healed. Praise God. You know why we can say we can do this in confidence? Because we believe the word. Amen. We believe the word that this book that was written is the absolute truth. So, when it says that Jesus Christ is anointed, to heal your eyesight, to fix your broken heart, to deliver the captive, to set you free, to heal you. We just believe it. We believe it Amen. because God cannot lie and he ain't in the business of lie. Well, now we know the liar and we don't listen to him. Amen. We praise the Lord with Bill that his eyes are whole. Stephanie, healing for her, for a friend named um, Goldie. Lord, we thank you. Again, based on your word, that Goldie is healed because the word's been sent. sent. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then we got uh, Lake, Lake Shira, a blessing over her son, who's a freshman in, in, uh, in college. Your son is blessed. Your son is the blessed, 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 blessed. Through Jesus Christ, he's blessed. He always has been, always will be. Amen. Then we got uh, Evelyn, uh, knee hip uh, restoration, healing and salvation for her grandson. Father, we thank you, Lord. Hey, say it, Lord, we thank you for those knees and those hips are, are being restored. Praise God. Lord, those hips are on her front porch. They've been delivered to her. Praise God. Lord, we, rec we receive that package that you sent, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we surely thank you again for salvation for her grandson. He, that boy's saved.
We, we send the ain't we send now see we have some authority don't we absolutely we've got authority absolutely. to send so we send laborers across that grandson's path to bring him so we can send so we send the word concerning that that boy is in the fold paula healing for from a mini stroke when i when i saw this word stroke i saw the word broke hmm. Hmm. i saw the word broke now jesus christ his back had many strokes on it and his back was broke broke stripped ripped so that you don't have to have that amen so lord we receive that that payment legal payment that legal payment Amen. has been made. We stand on that word. We agree with you that you're whole. Mary, Mary, you're healed. I'll just go ahead and say it. <laughs> Healing, Lord. I thank you, Mary's healed, Father. And then we got James for guidance. Lord, Praise God. you said if we ask anything that you would freely give it to us. That's so Lord, amazing. we receive guidance for James. James, you're the guided. Go ahead and start saying it. I, I know everything because I have the Holy Spirit in me that directs me and I obey and I even do it willingly because I understand this is the best for me. Call that number. Call in 877-281-6297. Yes, we're here for you. Praise God. Dale, you just talked about how uh, he has guidance. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 2 that yes. we have an unction Ooh. from the Holy One That's and right. we know all Things. All things. You take that by faith, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you take it by faith. Now, yeah. do you in your mind know all things? Get out of your mind. <laughs> That's in right, your brother. your spirit, every answer is there. Yes. Your spirit's like a well, and yeah. it's a reservoir of knowledge. Yes. It's a reservoir of wisdom. It's a reservoir of insight. And I just, I had it strongly in my heart whenever that man's prayer request came in, that there's other people out there believing yes. God for wisdom and direction yes. and understanding. Well, listen, inside you, inside. according to John chapter four, is a well. Yes. And that well is an everlasting water and in that water is is everything that you could possibly need to know because you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. So yeah. by faith, quit saying, I just don't know. Right. That, uh -uh. Say by faith, I know and I, I know. have understanding. Right. Praise God. So we're in agreement with everybody believing God for wisdom concerning their life, concerning their plan, concerning what God has in store for them. And we are believing for quick downloads, quick deliveries quick downloads. of what God is That's doing right. in you That's and right. through you. Praise God. Call that number 877-281-6297. I want you guys to watch this clip by Brother Jesse. He talks about how we're here too. And I cannot reiterate this enough, Dale, that we are in this together. together. You're not yes, alone. Together. We are here to come into agreement and to pray with you. So watch this clip yeah. and we'll be right back. Yes. None of our destiny is firm, ladies and gentlemen. It's according to your faith to make things happen in life. Just because God said something, it won't work for you because he said it. You got to say it with him. If two of you agree. Two. How many of you believe in for something? Look at me. I'll be you two. I'll be you two. You ain't got to look for nobody else. I'll be your two. And I've said this so many times. Just think if all the church became twos. Just think of all your church that went around saying, what you believing for? Well, I'm believing that I'll be you too, okay? And you get all everybody being twos. You'll be a bunch of two twos, but you are two, buddy. <laughs> now things start happening because destiny is not firm. Write this down. Des your destiny is not firm. Your free will has been given to you to make choices. And destiny happens one day at a time. Praise God. We will be your two. Did you hear that? We're going to be your two. And listen, I, you might not have anybody else that, that can stand with you and pray with you and believe God and that will approach your situation in faith. You may or may not, but it, whether, whether you do or you don't, we are here and we want to be your two. Listen, the Bible says in first, or Matthew chapter 18, that if two of you shall agree, Touch, as touching anything, there I am in the midst and he will hear and he will answer. Bless God. So you're one, I'm two, Dale's three. We have a plethora of prayer ministers and we have your brothers and sisters from all over the world standing and believing God with you. So we are in agreement that God is moving and that God is doing a work and as touching anything, listen, there's power 
and, 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 and agreement and in corporate prayer. So here's Angie from Floresville, believing God for lab work uh, to all to, to be OK and to receive a good report. Well, Angie, listen, we can go back to the good report that we already have. And we are believing that the doctor's report will match this report. And this report says that you were healed 2000 years ago. So that's what we're laying hold of. And that's what we're believing in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Here's Virginia from Cambridge. Believe in God for miraculous hip replacement. Listen, God has parts. Pastor George teaches this all the time about how God has parts stored up in heaven. So we are pressing in and we are believing God for that. And, and praise God, he healed the maim. He's still the same God that healed the maim in the New Testament when Jesus was on the earth. So we are in agreement for that miraculous hip replacement and for the doctor's report to prove it in the name of Jesus. Here's Sharon from Lexington. Pray uh, for her daughter is pregnant and will carry to full term. There's apparently been some blood clotting issues. Well, Father, Right now, I lift up Sharon's daughter. And Father, I thank you so much that that blood in her body will flow unhindered and unchecked, just like the blood of Jesus is flowing over her life and flowing over her child and flowing over her body. And Father, I thank you so much that this baby will be brought to full term and that the plan of God for this baby's life will be made known well and clear in the name of Jesus. Praise God. I want to hear the testimony of that uh, and all of these prayer requests. Here's Sonia from Austinsville. Believe, she fell. Believe in God for stability and healing. Well, bless God. I thank you that the Bible talks about how he makes our bones fat. What does that mean? He makes them strong and he makes them healthy. That will produce stability. And Father, I thank you so much that you have a total and complete healing from any repercussions that may or may not have happened from this fall in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Here's Mary from Rochester. Believe in God for protection. Well, Father, right now, we thank you and we send forth the angels of God, according to the 91st Psalm, to protect Mary right now. And according to Isaiah 54, listen. The Bible says that no weapon formed against you will prosper. I don't care what that weapon comes like. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Praise God. Amen. Hey, call that number 877-281-6297. If you can't get through, call back. Our prayer ministers are here. And even when we go off there, our prayer ministers are still here and they want to come into agreement with you. Hey, Dale went over to the aisle to just see what's going on over there in the aisle. Listen, I'm telling you, there's something about that aisle. When you get over there, you're sandwiched in faith. I'm telling you, and it's amazing. So I want to go over there and I want to hear what's going on over there with the aisle with Dale. Dale, when, when I come over in this aisle, the Lord always gives me these different scenarios. So to, this morning, he said, Dale, use the scenario of emergency room. And it's an emergency room. You're calling in, right? I got an emergency. We've got all these emergencies right here. They're, they feel like an emergency in your life. So the first time you go into emergency room, they say, um, do you have any insurance? I go, I've got insurance. It's in the word of God. It says I'm healed. Great. How are you going to pay for this? I said, it's paid for by the blood of Jesus Christ. So all these bills are met. So here, let's just read a bill that's met. Lord, we got uh, G Genevieve, freedom, victory, and breakthrough in your life. Lord, I thank you that this, she has insurance on this. It's your word. You said that you meet all of her needs and you've made her an overcomer. And she lives from that point of view because the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And we got Sarah, uh, uh, Sandra, I'm sorry. Um, mother's healing over her body, healing manifestation in her neck, and for wholeness. You know that word wholeness is the word peace. Paul speaks a lot about peace. That, that word peace, we know it means shalom, but we also mean, know it means oneness or wholeness. Lord, we thank you that she is completely whole, 100%. Not only whole in herself, but she's one with you. Lord, and what's in you is working in her. Thank you, Father. Then we got Willie, complete body healing. <laughs> complete body healing, family restoration, and a home. Lord, you got insurance. We got insurance for this, Lord. We got insurance for this. My word says that you've been made whole. I meet all your needs according to your riches and glory, and I prepared a place for you. We got uh, Sheila, family member healing and pain free. Lord, we thank you for this healing working out, manifesting in her body, Lord. Lord, we thank you that she feels better. You know, Lord, you do things in our lives, Lord, that relieve us. 
We thank you that she's relieved. She's pain free. Emma. Lord, again, I thank you. Lord, there's a lot of people dealing with pain right now. Lord, I thank you that they are pain free. That you, We curse the root cause of that pain, that root cause of discomfort. You gave us the ability and the right to say that because you said you sent the comforter. So that you'll be glad I'm going away because I'm sending somebody back here because you need comfort. He knows what you need. So he sent it. He sent comfort. So we were, come on. Come on, we receive it by faith. We receive that comfort. Thank you, Lord, we receive the answer. Now, Emma, healing and deliverance from a, a pinched nerve and a, and a uh, jaw pain. So here's this pain deal going again. Now, the word for this year, one of the words is divine recovery. When I was dealing with a pinched nerve in my back, the Lord gave me the word recovery, recovery. So all the pinched nerve is, it just needs to be recovered. We thank you, Lord, that that nerve right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, for what he paid for, it was sent to be recovered, recovered, putting a new jacket over that nerve. Then we won't have any pain because it's been fixed. Thank you, Lord, it's fixed. Tanya, believing for her husband's full recovery from uh, COVID. Lord, we thank you. We thank you that Tanya's husband is 100 150% whole that he's we just reached down and pick him up y'all do it with me we reach down and pick you up thank you Lord he's standing he's jumping he's leaping praising your name you know when you get healed you get happy so I want you to call him with some testimonies about your happiness all right so we got a karma healing of two-year-old daughter from from COVID Lord we thank you that girl is recovered and recovered quickly one time I came out of the hospital um, I had blood poisoning. Somebody prayed over me and it was, I had blood poisoning in my leg and I watched that line disappear. In five minutes, all the blood poisoning was gone. So in, Lord, we thank you for quick recovery. That was the word that the Lord gave this man to pray over me was quick, quick, quick living. That word means quick, alive, alive recovery. Lord, we thank you for life. Holden, back to you. Praise God. Amen. Thank you so much, Dale. That's powerful. It's powerful. You said something earlier that leapt up inside of me that we receive it by faith. Listen, I heard this question. Somebody, somebody out there, I don't know who, but somebody out there said, great. How? Praise God. How do you receive it by faith? Listen, Sister Gloria says that that word receive, it's an action word. You take it. You take it by faith. And the Bible tells us in Matthew 6, take no thought saying. So how do you take things spiritually? You say it. You confess the good confession. We read it earlier in 1 Timothy chapter 6. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life and confess the good confession. So you take it and you receive it by making sure your words line up with his words. Amen. Praise God. And that, I'm telling you, and make, don't, don't change your confession for anything. Bless God because his word's true and his word works every single day time. Amen. Praise God. Well, I have a couple testimonies for you guys, a few actually, and I am excited. Listen, I want you Come guys on. to call in with your testimonies. 877-281-6297. I want you to listen to this. Here's Kaylin from Colorado. Her thumb was miraculously healed I believe from it. an accident. I believe it. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it miraculously That's the way it healed. Works. Listen, Thank we you, had Lord. somebody else call in earlier today about uh, want a miraculous hip replacement. There's a miraculous restoration and a miraculous healing right there. Miraculous. If God did it for somebody else, mm. bless God, he'll do it for you. Amen. Here's Tanisha from uh, it Itwaville. Her brother is healed and coming back home and is walking again. Listen, all those who have lost family members, all those who have family members that may be out doing something that you know that they're not supposed to do and you know God has called them to a place higher than where they're living, bless God, I'm telling you, the family members are coming back home. This is the year of divine restoration. He's gonna restore families. He's gonna restore plans. Yes. He's gonna restore vision. He's yes. gonna restore purpose. He's gonna, he's gonna restore it all, bless God, so you can believe. And I'm telling you, there's more people out there that are believing God for restoration in the family. Listen, make sure your words line up with his words. He's restoring the hearts of the fathers to the son and the hearts of the mothers to the daughters. And right now, in the name of Jesus, we are in agreement for total and complete restoration. And here we are in Isaiah 42, yes. the Bible says that he looked for somebody to say restore. 
oh. but he found none. Well, bless God, here we are saying restore. Here's Chris from Bella River. He has been 19 years clean this month. Bless God, that's amazing. 19 years, we rejoice with you and we rejoice in the fact that God has given you grace and empowered you to walk clean. Here's Julia from San Antonio. Uh, Antonio, believe in God, her grandson has lupus and granddaughter has diabetes and she needs a job. Julia needs healing in her spine. Well, Father, I thank you that your word says that you healed us from everything. The Bible says in Matthew chapter eight that Jesus healed them all. Bless God, all includes your grandson. All includes your granddaughter. Yes. All includes yourself. Listen, all is all inclusive. There's nothing excluding when you say all, bless God. So we are in agreement and believe in God that the all is taking place. Here's uh, Nettie from Louisiana, believe in God for her health to be restored. Jacob from Chamuga, he believe in God for healing. Here's Teresa from Georgia for her great, great grandson was diagnosed with autism, complete healing and freedom for him. Listen. He has been set free. The Bible says whom the son is set yes, free he's, he's, is free indeed. And we are in agreement that that freedom is taking place and that freedom is manifesting. And like we started out, we reach out and we lay hold of that freedom together with you. We lay hold of that healing together with you in the name of Jesus. Listen, we have just under three minutes. Uh, I want to give you guys the number one more time, 877-281-6297. We have, Dale, look at all these prayer requests. Yeah, they're this, rolled. Thank you, Lord. They Thank are. You, Lord. They these are, are. And these all have insurance on them. Yeah. And they've all been paid They've for. all been paid for. So do for. any of these things worry me? No. No, I got insurance. Do they, they worry God? They don't worry. They don't he's, worry he's God He's got insurance. All he's, he's already paid for. Bless God. That is amazing. And listen, <laughs> it's a done oh, thank deal. You, Lord. It's a done deal. It's and a I, done deal. I love the verse in Philippians chapter one, where it says that he'll bring all things to completion that which he started, right? That, yeah, he started. Well, listen, he started it 2,000 years he ago. He did. So if you're believing God for healing, he is, he, he is bringing it to completion. If you're believing God for prosperity, he is bringing it to completion. Yes. If you're believing God for freedom, he is bringing, bringing it to it. completion. Because as far as he's concerned, it's a done deal. Yeah, well, you, you, that word bringing, right? That's an action word. That means to travel or mm -hmm. it changes locations. Well, that lines up with that, with that word he gave me this morning, sent. He sent. It's been sent, sent. sent. I want you all to live in that revelation today. 877-281-6297. It's been sent. Amen. This is in Ephesians, that, that pricked my heart while you were talking. It says, um, be no God. more as children. Amen. Tossed to and fro. Now that word ch children studied it out. It means a non-speaker. Praise God. Someone that doesn't speak. So all day long today, I want you to speak. Amen. Speak. Be no more as children that don't speak, but yeah. speak, speak, speak. It's speak been it. sent. That's it's how you take sent. it. That's how you take it. That's, That's how you take it. it. Amen. And listen, Brother Roberts used to say that miracles are passing by you every single day. All you got to do is reach out and take it. That's Praise it. God. Hey, come join us Monday again, same time, 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern. We'll be back here. I want you guys to join the uh, the the uh, Eagle Mountain International That's Church right. services this coming Sunday. We have the honor of having Brother Mark, Mark Hankins, Hankins, 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern, or 11 a.m. Central. And listen, we're happy that you called in today. And remember yes, that so we happy. love you. Yeah. God, God loves, loves you. you. And, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Bye-bye. That's the truth.